to be honest with you, the name has changed and tariffs went down and the competition has increased and you have Viber and you have Vonage Mobile and you have so many other things. I don't want to advertise everything because you know, people might think I have a 5% cut in there, but <laughs> the reality is use it. Come on, it's become cheap. You can sit on WhatsApp all night, but you haven't WhatsApp your own father. One might say he's not on WhatsApp. Well then phone him, come on, subhanallah. Make a phone call. Dad, how are you doing? He'll be shocked, my son. Did something go wrong? Why are you phoning me? Did something go wrong? Allahu Akbar. Why? Because we are so far from our parents. Kiss your mom on the forehead. Tell her, my mom, I love you. Please pray for me. She might not be there tomorrow. Allahu Akbar. May Allah grant them forgiveness. So it's very important for us not to undermine these type of acts of worship. It is an act of worship to keep comms with your parents. An act of worship. And yet we don't. Sometimes in the same city they are living, but we've never been to see them. We haven't, you know, visited and so on. Uh, we've not even made an effort to call. Today you have, uh, we call it what? These video calls. People will call a spouse. They'll call a girlfriend. Astaghfirullah. They'll call anybody. Hey, can I see what you look like? Wow, you're looking good. <laughs> Try your parents. They want to see you. You are a result of Allah's qudra and Allah's power. He chose for you those particular parents as a test for you. Subhanallah. And yet you're not even ready to communicate with your own parents. Come on. So I think inshallah we can all make an undertaking. Inshallah those of us whose parents are alive tonight, Give them a call or visit them. Try your best. Say a word or two. And subhanallah, you set the trend and the pace. Let your children watch what you are doing. Because tomorrow they will do it with you. Let your children watch what you are doing. Tomorrow they will do it with you. Show them the excitement. Hey, we, today we're speaking to your granddad. Mashallah. Come, let's talk. One day they will do the same with you. Wallahi, you will smile and you'll say, Subhanallah, Allah has guided me. This is the advice of a Muslim. And we are sitting here speaking about it from Luqman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and bless all of us.